Good evening. Welcome to the regularly scheduled meeting of the City of Kettering Planning Commission for Monday, October 18th, 2021. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Miami Valley Cable Council for televising and taping tonight's meeting for a rebroadcast on Channel 6 and streaming live over the internet at mvcc.net. It will also be recorded and available for later viewing on mvcc.net. Since this meeting is both audio and videotaped to form a complete record for possible appeal to city council and or the courts, it is important that anyone who wishes to address the commission will need to come to the lectern to speak into the microphone and give their name and address for the record. The planning commission is an independent, is a volunteer independent body appointed by council whose mission is to hear all bodies involved and subsequently make a motion to approve, deny, continue, or recommend the application. All action by the Commission can be appealed to the City Council. At this time, I'd like to introduce the members of the Planning Commission. On my far left, Ken Lackey, Assistant Secretary. On my immediate left, Carol Fisher, the Secretary. I'm Don Rethman, the Chair. And on my right is Don Shimon, Vice Chair and Ray Waski, Commissioner. Members of staff present is Connie Gaw, our Recording Secretary, and David Roller, City Planner. First item on the agenda this evening is the approval of the minutes of September 20th, 21. Do we have any uh, comments on the minutes as presented here this evening? Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Call the roll, please. We did the second. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Waski? Yes. Mr. Lackey? Yes. Mr. Shimon? Yes. And Mr. Rathman? Yes. Next item under old business, item number two, 1942 to 1950 East Stroop Road. It's a lot split. It is PC-21-017, and it is a case that's continued uh, with presentation for staff today is Mr. Roller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rethman. We are in receipt of an application seeking final record plan approval for the property located at the intersections of Stroop Road, Woodman Drive, and Wilmington Pike, uh, better known as the Kettering Triangle Center. Uh, it is an existing mixed-use center, currently zoned business. Um, the record plan that we are in receipt would uh, subdivide the approximately nine acre parcel into four new parcels of varying size. Uh, the lot lines would basically follow the existing layout and development. Uh, there would be one lot created that is currently vacant, uh, that, so that would not encompass a current building, but everything else encompasses uh, or encapsulates the, uh, the current layout of the, of the land. Uh, we reviewed the proposal in accordance with the City of Kettering Subdivision Ordinance, and we found that the plat is largely in compliance with those uh, regulations. However, there are a couple of minor issues that we came across. Uh, the first was, in, and you'll notice this in your packet, uh, the uh, prepared record plan does have a preliminary stamp uh, over the uh, signature bar at the uh, bottom lower left. Uh, that would need to be removed prior to signature. Uh, by the Planning Commission. Uh, also, there is a, uh, a, a section in the dedication statement uh, where it lists the, one of the owners as the city of Kettering. Uh, we have had some other plats where that has become a problem uh, for future owners, uh, that it looks like we have some interest in their property. We do not. Uh, so we are asking that that be changed uh, to read that, that, that we are the owner only of acres to be dedicated as right of way. Uh, the third thing uh, really surrounds uh, that there's property located along the boundaries of this property uh, that is occupied by current roadway, uh, that being Stroop, Woodman, and Wilmington Pike. Uh, typically, when roads are built or constructed, those parcels are dedicated as right-of-way. Uh, these parcels are actually just city-owned parcels, and they need to be dedicated. Uh, so when we come across these, we do usually uh, dedicate them as right-of-way. Uh, it's nothing that the applicant needs to be concerned with other than that it appears on their record plan, so uh, we ask that they include that as uh, an item to be dedicated. 
Uh, there has been some confusion over what parcels have been dedicated in the past and been recorded at the county. Uh, so you'll notice that we are recommending that those parcels be dedicated to the satisfaction of the city engineer uh, because we haven't quite nailed down what those parcels are. Uh, our, our engineer is working with their surveyor, I'm sorry, our surveyor is working with their surveyor to discern that. We think we have that figured out, uh, but we were not able to get those changes made in time for tonight. So that's why we're asking for those to be approved conditionally. Um, we are recommending approval of the requested record plan with uh, those conditions. All right. Um, any questions for Mr. Roller? Mr. Lackey? No. Ms. Fisher? No. Mr. Shimon? No. Mr. Woski? I had two, two brief questions. I think you've addressed one already. On, under your plat checklist, uh, Mr. Roller, uh, item F, dedication purposes, I think that's what you were talking about that needs to be met, that, that's in progress. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. And item K, certification, uh, certification of Thomas K. Marsh's registered surveyor is not provided. Where does that stand? Uh, that is incorrect. That, is, that should be changed. Uh, that, is a, that is an incorrect item in the staff report. Uh, okay. Thank you for finding that, uh, okay. Mr. Woski. Is that not a, uh, that's not a non-existent? That, that is, it is actually the opposite. It has been provided. The, has the been. stamp is on the drawing. Okay. So basically item K needs to change from X to M. Correct. Okay. That's all I had. Okay. I don't have any um, Questions or comments uh, at this time? I don't know if there's anyone here from the applicant wishes to address the commission. Now's your opportunity. Seeing as no one from the applicant wishes to address the commission, is there anyone out there in the public who wishes to address the commission on this uh, case? Seeing as that no one from the public wishes to address the commission, um, do we have your recommendation, Mr. Roller? Uh, certainly, Mr. Rethman. Uh, staff recommends approval of the requested record plan with the following conditions. Number one, the preliminary stamp be removed. Number two, text reading owner, colon, city of Kettering, be changed to owner only of acres to be dedicated as right-of-way, colon, city of Kettering. And three, the surrounding city-owned parcels located within the Stroop Road, Woodman Drive, and Wilmington Pike Roadways be dedicated as right-of-way to the satisfaction of the city engineer and also a final uh, condition that we recommend uh, that in the motion that we have provided as a sample uh, where it reads uh, an oral and written report by city staff with noted corrections this evening. And that concludes our recommendation. Did you get that, Carol? Could you repeat that on your, uh, in terms of the whereas, last sure. whereas? Um, that uh, where it reads, including an oral and written report by city staff, mm -hmm. uh, that it be changed to read, uh, and this is obviously a suggestion, uh, including an oral and written report by city staff and corrections as noted this evening. All right, I guess uh, <clears throat> one last, any other questions from the commissioners? If not, uh, whenever you're ready, Ms. Fisher. All right, I have a motion for K Kettering Triangle Center, the final record plan, whereas an application has been received from Thomas K. Marsh, McDougall Marsh Land Surveyors, 8529 Byers Road, Miamisburg, Ohio, requesting approval of a record plan that would create four new lots of varying size from one 9.2666 acre parcel, and whereas this request constitutes approval of a final record plan for the newly described lots, and whereas the Planning Commission has reviewed the facts surrounding this request, including an oral and written report by city staff and corrections as noted this evening, which is incorporated herein. I move that the applicant's request for approval of a final record plan for Kettering Triangle Center be approved with the following conditions, which shall be completed prior to the signatures by the Planning Commission. One, quote, preliminary, quote, stamp be removed. Two, text reading owner, 
city of Kettering be changed to owner only of acres to be dedicated as right-of-way, city of Kettering, and three, the, city, the surrounding city-owned parcels located within the Stroop Road, Woodman Drive, and Wilmington Pike roadways be dedicated as right-of-way to the satisfaction of the city engineer. End of motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion on the motion? <clears throat> All right, call the roll, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Waskey? Yes. Mr. Lackey? Yes. Mr. Shimon? Yes. And Mr. Rethman? Yes. Uh, next item under new business is audi audience participation for items not on the agenda. Is there anyone out there in the audience who wishes to address the Planning Commission? Now's your opportunity. Seeing that no one is wishing to address the Planning Commission, we will move on to other business. Signing of plats? Oh, we do not have any plats this evening to sign. Communications and reports? Uh, none at this time. Okay. Planning Commission comments, Mr. Lackey? No, I don't have anything this evening. Okay, Ms. Fisher? Not a thing. Mr. Shaman? Nothing tonight. Mr. Woski? Uh, the only thing I wanted to note, uh, if we hadn't, you hadn't all heard that uh, on the news that um, uh, General Colin Powell, Powell had passed away, uh, former Secretary of State also, and uh, he's, uh, he'll be greatly missed. All right. I don't have any additional comments, so at this time we will adjourn this regularly scheduled meeting of the City of Kettering Planning Commission for Monday, October 18th, 2021 at 7.11 p.m. until our next regularly scheduled meeting.